Exhaust valve actuator Checking and overhauling These are the following safety precautions to be observed Close the inlet valve 420 and open the outlet valve 421 on hydraulic block to release the pressure in the system. Remove the inspection cover of the roller guide housing to inspect the position of the exhaust cam. Turn the camshaft so that the roller or roller guide rests in the circular part of the cam. Loosen the four bolts in the oil cylinder and to the exhaust valve to dismount the high pressure pipe. Dismount the oil inlet pipe and the drain pipe from the exhaust valve actuator. Remove the cover from the electrical junction box on the timing unit. Disconnect the cables going out of the junction box. Loosen the cable gland. And remove the cable. Unscrew the nuts on the two short studs, then loosen the nuts on the long studs successively until the roller guide spring is relieved. Dismount the nuts. Fit eye bolts in the lifting holes of the oil cylinder. Put on strap or cable and hook on a shackle. Lift the oil cylinder carefully up, leaving the piston on the top of the roller guide. Remove the spring and disc. Fit eye bolts in the lifting holes of the roller guide housing or liner. Put on the strap or cable and hook onto the shackle. Lift the roller guide housing or liner carefully up. Lift the piston assembly for inspection of sliding surfaces for scratching or seizure marks. Renew or ring of the roller guide housing or liner and seal rings for oil cylinder and cylinder frame. After checking and renewal of o-ring and seal rings, carefully mount the roller guide housing or liner. Make sure that the o-ring and seal rings are properly mounted to avoid damage that may cause oil leakage. Carefully mount the piston assembly on the roller guide and then mount the spring and disc. Carefully lower the oil cylinder onto the piston taking care not to damage the piston rings and seal rings are properly fitted. Mount the nuts on the two long studs and tighten alternately until the oil cylinder rests firmly against the roller guide housing. Mount the nuts on the two short studs. Tighten all four nuts using torque wrench according to its data for tightening. Mount the inlet pipe and drain pipe from the exhaust valve. Mount the exhaust valve high pressure pipe. Reconnect the electric cable to the junction box on the timing unit according to the markings. Make sure not to interchange the wirings. Mount the cover on the junction box. Lastly, close the valve 421 and open valve 420 on the hydraulic block.